Okay, so if you have a Mac and you're using iCloud and you are syncing your uh, documents to iCloud, um, you could have a problem launching Gorilla because uh, what happens is that um, when iCloud syncs to your computer and you have the desktop and documents folder uh, uploading to iCloud, then in your local documents folder, you will not have the Gorilla files and you need to have the Gorilla 7 folder in your documents folder locally in order to launch properly. So as you can see right now, I am in my documents folder. I'm not in iCloud and I do see my Gorilla 7 folder and inside the Gorilla 7 folder, you're going to see the Gorilla 7 files. I can launch Gorilla here by double clicking this icon right here, which I'll do right now just to test it. And you can see that Gorilla will launch properly. We'll give it a second. Okay, so we are launched and we can uh, launch a schedule and we can launch a budget. That's always the best way to test uh, to see if Gorilla works properly. Just launch a schedule and launch a budget. And if they launch properly, then you're good. So let's go ahead and quit Gorilla. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go into uh, system settings and I'm going to click on my ID and I'm going to click on the iCloud option and then I'm going to click on iCloud Drive. Now it is on, which is fine. There's nothing wrong with that. But if you click on iCloud and look at how many options you have to go through and then click on the options button here for apps syncing to iCloud, apps that store documents and data on iCloud, click on that button. You'll see that in my uh, list here, apps that store documents and data in cloud, iCloud will appear here. Notice that my desktop and documents folder is not checked. Now, by default, I believe this is not checked. If it is checked, watch what happens. If I click that, immediately what happens is that it transfers, you can see it's transferring files from the documents folder to iCloud. Now, you really can't tell much of a difference, but what will have, you can see documents uh, over here, documents, Aton's MacBook Air, and then here you'll see the cloud, okay? Now, if you see the cloud, that is telling you that these files, see, this is uh, uh, uploading now to iCloud. So if I launch Gorilla now, now it might and might not launch. Notice that it's still kind of copying. Do you see that, how it's not completely done there? It's sort, it's, uh, if I click out of here, you can see the little pie and it's going to take a while. Now, once that's complete, it really, it removes your files from the documents folder and puts them in the iCloud. You can't launch Gorilla. It won't work. Now I can try now because it's in, in interim. I don't even know if that's uh, really the good thing to do, but notice that Number one, you change the uh, the file structure here, which is another thing that Gorilla will not allow. If the file structure says documents and then documents Aton's MacBook Air, that's my, my name, and then you have the files here, you won't be able to save, you won't be able to load, okay? This whole file structure is not going to work with Gorilla. Another way to launch Gorilla is go by applications, and you can see Gorilla here. Let's try that. I don't think this is going to work, but let's go ahead and give it a shot. Again, we're in interim. If I launch Gorilla here, ah, you see what happens? It did not launch. It opens FileMaker Pro, which is the back end to Gorilla, and it doesn't know what to do because the files are no longer in documents. It's looking, at, uh, notice actually the, the path here. It says users, Aton, MacBook, Air, documents, Gorilla 7, launch Gorilla. The files aren't there, so it's not gonna work. So if I close that, quit FileMaker Pro here for a second, Let's go back and deselect this, turn off, okay, and done. And uh, let's go back here to my documents and let's see if it comes back here because right now, I don't even know if it'll download properly. I might have uh, have to download it before, unfortunately, but um, yeah, see, they're still here. So if I, Okay, if I click this, let's see here. Yeah. 
So this is definitely a problem. So what I'm gonna do here is I think there was an option there um, to download it first, I'm not sure, but you could see what a problem this can cause. So make sure that when you are, you might I might even have to reinstall. They are still here in iCloud. I wonder if they're gonna going to delete. Let's see if I can double click maybe. Let me see if I double click this, what happens? Okay, it is launching, but I don't know if it's launching in iCloud or not. We shall see in a minute. Okay, so it did launch, but I believe that it's still in iCloud here. It might be transferring. And if we go to documents, it's still not there. We need to have the files and documents. So please make sure that if you're gonna use iCloud, that number one, you do not, go back into iCloud options, you do not use this option, desktop and documents folders. Or if you do, every time you launch Gorilla, you have to make sure, and it's not a really a big deal, but you have to make sure to download those files into your documents folder, launch Gorilla, and then if you wanna upload back again to iCloud, you can do that. And also if you turn it off like I did, I uh, believe there was an option, I went really fast there, but I believe there was an option that said first, download your documents, which I don't think I did, and that's why they're, they're not here. So that is a very important thing to, uh, to remember uh, if you're using iCloud with Gorilla, that uh, you cannot use the desktop and documents folder option because Gorilla must have the files in the documents folder. When you install, if I were to install again, even though I see Gorilla here, this is the application, but it, do, it doesn't know what, to, what files to launch. That's why it launched FileMaker Pro. You go here to documents and they're not there. Okay, I hope that helped. And uh, if you have any questions, please chat us or email us. Thank you. I wanted to do a quick addendum to the uh, video that I just did about uh, documents. I realized that, of course, if you go to the iCloud Drive and um, you'll see them here, if you were to uh, take this folder here and just drag it down to the desktop, it will ask you, are you sure you want to remove Gorilla 7 from iCloud Drive? This item will be moved to this Mac and no longer be available in iCloud Drive or any of your devices. Click on Move and you have the file here. These are the files that are needed. And then if I go to my local documents, notice the difference here. This is iCloud Drive Documents. So that's an iCloud. And then Documents, and then just drag it over to there. And now, remember before I couldn't launch, it didn't work. If I go to Applications, again, you could launch either from here, the Gorilla 7, or from here. Now I'm going to do it from here because that's what I did last time and it didn't launch. So let's go ahead and give that a test. And it looks like it's launching. Okay, so I was correct in my assumption that the, um, yeah, it's launching no problem. Okay, very good. So we're going to quit Gorilla now. So I was correct in my assumption in that the f f files were still in the documents. I notice they're not here anymore. Uh, these you don't have to worry about. These are your saved files. So it is, if you want these, then definitely bring those down also. Um, but I don't think I have anything in there. But uh, So that's fine. But um, make sure that you copy from the iCloud drive uh, the Gorilla 7 folder and put it natively in here. It's got to look just like this. So the path would be documents. Gorilla 7, it can't be any other name here. And then Gorilla 7.15 or 7.2 or 7.3 or whatever the version is, and then these folders here. It must be in that path. Okay, great.